when you started wanting to do, to do right, like how many people came at you and like, what made you want to do this? Like, what made you want to go straight out instead of standing in the streets like that? Well, what made me go straight is uh, when I seen them wasn't playing when they gave me that 35 years to life. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. When you started wanting to do, to do right, like how many people came at you and like, what made you want to do this? Like, what made you want to go straight out instead of standing in the streets like that? Well, what made me go straight is uh, when I seen them wasn't playing when they gave me that 35 years to life. Uh, and I asked why me. I didn't do the crime. They planted the drugs on me to get me the case to get me out the way. And then, I, you know, earlier today I said, well, maybe it's God uh, pushing me. But really, uh, since I was the first one to ever get out up under the California Three Strikes Law in history, we were set a level four, which is in California, it's the highest maximum uh, security prison you can go to. Minimum, minimum, maximum, and then this. This is the highest level where you don't uh, uh, you don't see the sun come up, you don't see it go down. You're going to get uh, maybe two hours of yard time. You're going to walk in a straight line with a human uh, walk where you're doing a human diamond line. Uh, it's pretty much well. Uh, uh, you're not getting a job for 10 or 12 years. Uh, it's like salt laying on wood. So anyway, we had a yard where nobody's going home. Everybody's life first. Uh, we all trying to do what we can. And everybody knew I had a chance on getting out on an appeal from a life sentence, which is, uh, you heard earlier, Mar mention uh, uh, one of Geronimo Pratt's and them, uh, George Jackson and them comrades that's been in jail 50. It's usually very hard to come off from a life. So uh, when I got the uh, paper uh, on the appeal, everybody was standing around looking out the cages. And I, I was shaking so hard because I knew my life. If this paper say denied, I'm dying in prison. It's over. It's over with. But when I opened it, the first thing I seen was uh, we won, and I just told them, shouted out, I'm gone, homies. So everybody, uh, I had to wait 90 days. That was kind of stressful because the appeal of the court could file an appeal, even though it wouldn't have been, it would have been meritless. It still would have tied me up two more years. So uh, from them seeing me getting ready to go, all of them gathered around and said, uh, Melvin, uh, don't forget about us. And so that inspired me keep my word because I you know, a lot of these guys I've been knowing more so in jail and I've been knowing them all my life but we've always been in jail doing what we do as opposed to on the streets and I just took it upon myself uh, I wrote a book in 1998 I wrote that in six hours that's still relevant then come 2000 uh, I was with a political action group to where we actually wrote a law called the California uh, 2003 Strikes Initiative. Uh, I'll send you a picture, and uh, we did that. And then I joined Families to Amend Three Strikes, which was facts, uh, Cats, Californias to Amend Three Strikes, and stuff like that. And then uh, we opened up a uh, vault, uh, uh, who is that, Puff Daddy, uh, 2014, after I got out. Puffy had started Revolt. I was one of the first guests on there when he started it in Inglewood. Most people think it's on the East Coast. Revolt started in Inglewood, and I was one of the first guests on there. And from there, I started doing civil rights, uh, legal work, high-profile murders, whether it be by friend, family, or foe, or those that are here to serve and protect you. And I just started doing things to where I just started leading by example. Uh, to show youth that if I can do it, you can too. You know, 